Hi, my name is Madeline Hovis, and I'm reporting on The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Nathaniel Hawthorne wrote The Scarlet Letter in 1850 after being fired from the Custom House of Salem, Massachusetts, and his book starts out with the telling of an author who works at the Custom House in Salem, Massachusetts, so it can be assumed that this author that he's telling about is himself. Um, this author finds an embroidered letter A in the Custom House, along with a manuscript telling the story of the letter. So when this author is fired from the Custom House, he goes on to write about the letter that he found. Um, it starts off with the story of Hester Prynne, who is charged with adultery and forced to wear a scarlet letter A, A for adultery, on her chest. Um, she actually has a baby as a result of her affair, which she names Pearl. Um, she decides not to give away her partner. She does not tell who the father of the baby is. Um, but as a punishment, she's forced to stand on the pillory. She's not actually put in the pillory, but she stands on the pillory, and the entire town stands and watches her. In this crowd, she actually sees her husband, which was a very big surprise, because her husband had been presumed dead. So, when she came to the colony, her husband had stayed behind in Europe, and while he was on his way to the colony, he was captured and imprisoned by Native Americans. So it had been a very long time since the two had seen each other. He happened to have made his way into the colony, right as she was standing on the pillory. Um, he actually forgives her for cheating on him, but they come to the agreement that he should go by a different name. So he goes by the name of Chillingworth. Chillingworth takes care of all of the doctoral things. He's a doctor. Um, so when everybody's favorite Reverend Dimsdale falls ill, Chillingworth is the one to take care of him. Chillingworth actually moves in with Dimsdale, they move in together so Chillingworth can take care of him. Um, however, Chillingworth gets the suspicion that Dimsdale is actually the father of his wife's baby. So Chillingworth tortures Dimsdale for the entirety of their stay together. Um, Dimsdale eventually has enough of all the guilt and all the torment, and he decides to confess to being the father by giving his final sermon and revealing a scarlet letter A on his chest brandished across his chest right before he dies of his illness. Um, at the time that it was released, The Scarlet Letter was a very controversial book. Hawthorne received a lot of complaints from readers about his criticisms of the society, and a lot of the religious organizations were not happy with his topics, such as adultery, that he chose. Um, however, Despite the criticisms, it was a very popular book, sold out very quickly, and it was supported by the New England Literary Establishment. The Scarlet Letter was also very influential in the Transcendentalist movement. Transcendentalism is the idea that society, particularly institutions like religious organizations or political parties, deprave the purity of the individual. So the Puritans, like the community shown in the book, they're a religious organization, and they focus very heavily on surrendering oneself to society and the Scarlet Letter, society and the rules of society. And in the Scarlet Letter, Hawthorne displays them very much as authoritative and repressive figures. Um, in the book, um, when Hester embraces the letter and herself and stops worrying about society and conforming to the rules, she becomes more free than she ever was before the affair. Despite the criticisms, um, Hawthorne actually stays very true to himself, very true to his writings, and when it comes time for reprints, he doesn't change a single word. He leaves it exactly the same. Hawthorne played a very big role in the romantic gothic era of literature. He claimed that he was a romanticist instead of a novelist, he described his novel to be, he described a novel to be more about accuracy, more true to what it's writing about, and he decide, he defined romances as more about feelings. So, he claimed that his work, including The Scarlet Letter, consisted of romances instead of novels. Um, in conclusion, Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter was a controversial romantic piece that criticized the institutions of the Puritan society and played a large role in the Transcendentalist movement. If you have any questions, please reply to my discussion board, and thank you for watching.